So I went to New York for the bots, and I thought that I had, I had a really good time. I thought it was I thought it was tight. It was as advertised. Unfortunately, you know the bad guys win. West Coast wins. Not the kind of ending you wanted. But the big thing is uh, this event is cool because it's a more controlled environment. And it worked out in a way to where, like, even though it was really long, it's still a package that they can still be able to deliver a compelling competitive experience to you guys at home. Uh, it was really w well done, I think, for pretty much everybody who was a part of it. I, I, I thought it was really cool. Yikes is actually really clever. He's actually really smart throwing this around New Year's. The reason why is because when you, when you throw it at a time where there's no CPT, there's no TWT, there's nothing else going on, their focus can just be completely on this on this one event like that it really worked it, it worked out really well i think to add to that it's not like this is the only marvel event that's happened over the course of the year right combo breaker evo even what that battle for the east tournament but the problem is and it's it's proof of that right where you run events like that for a retro game in the middle of like a cpt season or a twt season or it's like a side attraction at this big event it doesn't really get that same level of attention i think I like that they have that they rally around this one kind of really like deep event once a year like that. I think that I think it's 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 really cool. It was as advertised. Having Fuji there is cool in two ways. First, because Fuji in particular, if you guys don't know, ran one of the early Midwest marquee events for this game for a while, dude. There was a period of time in the mid two thousands where if you were a Marvel player, they would be like Evo's cool and all, but if you really want to be real, you go to Season B. He basically ran that kind of event. And in fact, when him and Galleon stepped away from running Seasons Beatings, they kind of opened up a, I guess, kind of a vacuum for UFGT to fill in, to step up and kind of fill that void, which in turn, after UFGT, what, what do we have now? We have Combo Break. I, I don't think, uh, a lot of new heads probably don't know that, but it's not some random dude who is throwing those mixes down. Uh, that's one of the, the godfathers. I, I'd put it on, yeah, one of the godfathers of the scene for sure. And then, I thought that it just like the sound and the presentation of it was was very authentic, very perfect. Oh, let's get it. Oh, my man DJ Fuji Lai is popping right now. This shit is a break dance. Yeah, a break dance tools. competition at the same time. I had a great time. It was awesome. It got me thinking about some other the other older titles and how maybe what they should do. Because to be honest with you, it got me thinking about the term like quote unquote dead game. Uh, I think people in the West use that term pretty often. I think that maybe one out of like arbitrary number times that people say it, it's actually applicable and actually true. It might so persona to me is a dead game, even in even in JP. But you know, third strike dead game. They'll post really good numbers at their annual tournament every year. A lot of legacy players still play. I don't, I don't think it's that dead, man. I'm I walk around the arcades some some days of the week. A lot of people putting coins on that stuff. If people show out for it, if people are still playing. For playing it i i don't believe that if there's still marquee events for that game even if it's, it's just that that one annual event a year that one big stage for an for a game a year there's there's still a, there's still people playing it man. if the game to me doesn't already have like a really big stage or a really big tournament for it so for example like vampire you know i think of judgment day i think of combo breaker Garo, I think of um, you know that Matsuda national tournament that he does every year. Uh, Hokuto no Ken, they have their national three on three at the Co-op Cup for Third Strike. Out of the games that I haven't said anything about, I mean, I, I guess CBS Two is the only one that doesn't really have a really deep stage like that. The point that I wanted to make was, I think that shifting towards smaller style invitationals, or I think having high level marquee exhibitions are really, really effective ways to be able to pitch and sell your game to new audiences and to just, just to the mainstream audience, especially in off-tour seasons. I think something like this, is, it's something to think about for the older titles as we move forward. You can sell a first attempt, you know, you can sell an exhibition. Or you don't have to try to get 40, 50 people through the door or whatever, playing a tournament. You can create a really compelling event just by having two people that just want to beat each other and show, share that. Anyway, that's just something that I thought about. Anyway, bots was cool. Like I said, they, they put up a lot of money on the match arena. You know? uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. Really long, but pretty cool. Uh, big props to everybody who helped uh, help run it. That shit was uh, that shit was tough for sure.